so we're here at Dash in Sunnyvale, California. Here's their lovely offices. Okay, we're here with Dash. This is the Dash navigation system. Hello, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mark Weinson. Okay, Mark, why is this different from... Yeah, so what makes Dash really unique is uh, you know, we've taken a completely new approach to the portable navigation space. We're building a device that's focused on really an everyday use case. So mm -hmm. if you go out and buy a nav system, you're primarily going to use it because you don't know where you're going. Which is most of the time for me, but go ahead. <laughs> Move along. Maybe for you. Maybe, yeah. for, the, maybe for the traveling reporter. Uh, you know, but most people that no, drive... No, traveling idiot. <laughs> it's actually my title, but go ahead. <laughs> most people when they're driving, they know where they're going. Uh -huh. uh, but what they don't know is what are traffic conditions around them. Mm -hmm. They may be getting towards a destination and, and need information around that place. And so uh -huh. we've really tried to build a, a solution that's meant for people, if you think about but the commuter right. who's uh, driving from home to work uh, most of the time, but they need to know traffic conditions. So what makes right. Dash unique is we connect to the internet over the cellular network, uh -huh. uh, also over Wi-Fi, but primarily we connect over the cellular network and uh -huh. we bring down lots of interesting information. So, right. So it's not just traffic information, but it's all kinds of information. But the traffic right. information is done by other cars moving in your Dash ne network, correct? That's right. Yeah. So we get traffic from a couple sources. One is we have a partnership with a company called Inrix. They mm -hmm. provide us traffic data for uh -huh. over 100 metros in the country, or 100 metros in the U.S. Uh -huh. So if you're the first driver in a new Metro, uh -huh. you're still going to get great traffic data, right? Right. Because of this partnership with right. Rix. Uh, but as we add drivers to uh, to any area, we're learning a lot about traffic. So every Dash device is actually a probe. It sends uh -huh. back the traffic data that is, is, is a experienced. probe, you're scaring me a little bit. I, I know. To tell you. Wrong word. So, okay, uh, good. Yeah, uh, probe is always a bad word. What we really like to talk about is you know, you're automatically and anonymously resending, sending back your traffic uh -huh, data. Uh -huh. uh, now, could you send back other data, places you visit, and things like that? Or no, not not other data, just where you're traveling. So, uh, so it's primarily it automatically sends back traffic data. Now, you can save any place that you visit on the device, mm -hmm. and you can actually uh, get lots of interesting data down into the device. Right, through the Internet. That's like right, you send, the Internet. send information to it, which is, I think, the coolest part. So, so, someone, so users can input their saved searches, like, that you yeah. can then send down to the Dash. So someone did a, what, an entourage... Guide yeah. to LA? Yeah, uh -huh. so anybody can create great content and get it onto a Dash in, uh -huh. in a really simple way. So we give people the tools to go off and create content. And this one user created a guide to LA based on all the bars and clubs mm -hmm. in Entourage. Right, which, of which there are many. Yes. And so you just come into this part of My Dash called right. Save Search. You just click the plus button. Right. And immediately that content uh, went, or to, that, went to the Dash. That's right. And, so, and how many places are there? So. Oh, let's come in and take a look. So I can hit browse. I just entourage. tap the entourage guide to LA. This is all down in LA. Right, so the right. distances are going to be kind of far, but there's right. lots of them, right? So, wow, the arc uh, light. Yeah, sure. So no, the cool thing is that he went off and actually added all the information about it. So you wow. see you know, the hip-hop club is where uh, Saigon showcased. Yeah, occurred, go back right? to Cantor's. I love Cantor's. It's one of my favorite places. Let's go to They ate there late at night. Wow. The, the, boys boy, uh, the boys stop at Cantor's. They're famous bagels. That's great. Right. Terrific. Okay, so we mounted, mounted it. Go ahead, slide it in. Instant! Here we are. All right, now turn it on. Oh, all we got to do is uh, okay. power it on. Or okay. Do you, um, give your oh, let me put the car on. That's a good point. All right. Anyone who undermines security. Oops, turn off my stupid NPR. Okay. <laughs> So now what it's going to do is, uh, this is the first unboxing, so it's actually right. going to power itself up. You're uh -huh. going to see kind of a welcome message. Uh -huh. um, it's going to automatically provision itself against the cellular network. So, right. Uh, if you've ever bought a cell phone before, mm -hmm. you know how much of a pain in the butt right. it would be. Right. Oh, really? It's a pain in the butt, the cell phone makers? Uh, I think they're nice people. But go ahead, move on. Yeah. Uh, but I'm happy to be working with a company called Jasper Wireless. So <laughs> our, uh, our cellular company. So, so it'll it'll power up. It'll get my positioning. It will it will log me into the Bush administration Borg, and then uh, what? No, I'm teasing. <laughs> uh, so uh, what it'll start doing is it'll automatically start downloading traffic information uh -huh. around you and uh -huh. everything else you need to get started. Uh huh. Um, so you can see it's saying we're almost there. And how many dashes are here in this area, for example? What other dash vehicles that are adding to the the, so, uh, the, so the human the knowledge of traffic jams? In the Bay Area, we probably have somewhere around 20 or 30 non-Dash employees right. driving around. So you need, how many do you need in a, um, yeah, that's a, that, that warning about not using it. I agree. I agree not to crash. Okay. So yeah. how many do you need to get, like, really seriously good traffic information? So we only need a couple hundred in an average size metro. And, right. Uh, let's talk about D.C. for a second. It's the eighth right. biggest metro in the country. There's about 5 million people there. We probably need about 1,000 units in D.C. to get just 
uh, unbelievably great traffic traffic data, information but, but where people have, are going everywhere. Yeah, but we have great data already because of our partnership with Interact. Right. So. What if What if you get like a couple of people living in the same area? I mean, a lot yeah. of people. You'd have to get people living all over that that certain area, correct, to get well, really good information. Well, you know, with people spread out, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's value in terms of everybody getting that traffic data from everybody else. So you get benefit from people who live right near you because you're going to get traffic near you. Sure. You also get benefit from people who live away from you because uh, we actually learn about all the roads as our drivers right. drive. Now, so now, last question. Yep. What do you think the most important thing to people are? Is it the traffic information because of the horrible traffic jams in major yep. cities, or is it is it other information? What do you imagine, predict, will be the most uh, useful element? So I think the traffic is going to be the most useful for the majority of people. There's going to be a subset of people who want things like the surf report on their device because mm -hmm. they're surfers, and they know that, you know, Five miles down the beach, you can have completely different surf conditions. Sure. So getting live surf conditions will matter a lot to them. But uh -huh. uh, I think for most people, it's going to be traffic. Uh -huh.